Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import data from on online websites and then again import in Microsoft Excel. And then with that data, you can make a map. So first of all, I'm just going to go to a website which is World Worldometers for Coronavirus. So I'm just going to take a sample data from this website. But for that, I'm just going to go to the website first and then I'm going to click on the world which will make, take me to the data for the world and show all the countries and data. I'm just going to copy the web address and then I'm going to go to the Excel and then going to go to the data and then from web and then I'm going to paste my link over here. This process does, does take a little bit time so don't worry for that and it will take some time and it will gradually work perfectly. So once you enter a URL it will prompt another window in which it will show you some loaded data. So it will show you which tables the website has and you can import any data or any table that you want in the current excel sheet. So now you can see there are three different tables. So the main important table is the table 1. So I'm just going to click on the table 1 or table 0 and I'm going to click on the load data and it will import. This process does take time so don't worry for that. So it does give you a preview how does it looks. So once you see the preview you can load the data in the excel web sheet. So now once uh, it's processing data it will take a bit of a while and then it will load like this. So once uh, everything is loaded and everything is done, it will show you a table tabulated in this form. Now remember, this data is dynamic data, which means whenever the website is going to update some figures, this data is also going to be updated. So currently, by default, this data is updated after every 60 minutes. You can change that time to 1 minute or any other 20 minutes or 5 minutes depending upon your own requirements. So now this is my own data. I'm just going to close this uh, options for the form format and then I'm going to go to the data options again and then I'm going to click on refresh all and after clicking all go to the properties. Now you can see you have different options and different properties. You can change the time with at what time do you want your data to be refreshed. That means this data is going to be replaced with the new values which is updated on the website. So now if you want to change some countries, if you want to choose a little bit, a uh, few countries, you can just manually select these icons by using a filter. And then you can have these 10 countries. So I just showed the top 10 countries right now for the coronavirus. Now if you recheck this again, you can select all these countries one more time. And now we have the data for all the countries. Now I'm going to plot a map for these countries showing that how many current cases or total cases they have on a map. So by clicking control shift and down arrow and then you can select and go to the maps and once you are done you can see the map over here. The map doesn't look too good in this form but you can make small changes and small adjustments because this is a default map. I'm just showing you one example in this map I will be showing a more detailed map in another video so please stay tuned for that. So as you can see this is my current map situation. Right now I cannot see any country's name, any legends or anything that can define the map. But I can ch do change the default uh, layout for this map by the four options given on the top. Now I'm just going to double click on this part and then you can see different layouts for the map. I'm going to change different layouts and see what it shows. Now when I click that show me the area only with data it shows me that like this. Now I want my names to be fit inside. Now remember you are showing doing that you want the names to be completely fit inside so that means you cannot increase the size because if you increase the size the smaller the size will become smaller for other countries which it won't work so now I'm just changing different colors so there are two options either you can use two gradients or you can use three gradients I'm using three different colors which means the lowest one for the yellow green and the middle one yellow or the dark and the top one with the red one I can also change this number from the highest number and lowest number to percentage which I think is much better in comparison to the other forms. You can also play with the colors as you want. You can change different colors. You can also use two gradients but remember that if I use two gradients it won't show the actual impact of the coronavirus in different countries. So if you are using map or you have different data so you must remove the outliers so you must remove some values which have really little impact and you can remove those values so that the graph can show a more beautiful and more better picture. Now let's copy this graph and move it to Microsoft PowerPoint and let's remove this layout type and paste your map here. Like I said that these maps are dynamic maps and the data that I showed you in the Excel from web is a dynamic data which means that every time 
you refresh or every 10 one minutes you refresh the data is going to be refreshed automatically you don't need to refresh automatically that means that if you make any changes or if you take it somewhere else after every one minute the data is going to be refreshed and all the values are going to be replaced depending upon the data which is actually available on the website so now let's work on the small details and add a form background to the slide let's make a small uh, dark blue or light blue background and see how it looks like Again, I say uh, you can change the background depending upon your own theme or the presentation. If you have a dark theme, if you have a light theme, you can choose any theme that you want. And based on that, you can also change the color of your map. So let's just add one title to the slide. Let's give a title, uh, World COVID-19 Cases. So this is a representation of the map. So maps can be used in any form. For example, if you want to show the availability of resources, the fossil resources, or any other minerals or anything that you want to show in the world and you have a data and you have the countries, so all you have to do is that paste in Excel, select that data and go to the map and it will show all those countries in a map form. So right now I just use COVID-19 cases just that I had this data is available and you can also access it from online. So now if you need to do something else which is that you want to change anything other anything else in the map, you first need to select that particular thing. For example, if I am clicking on the Russia or the map, I'm just going to change different options again which is like the map orientation. How does the map looks and also I'm going to change the color which I want which is like uh, as I told before light green for the lowest one and then the yellow one for the other parts or the golden one for the other parts and the red one for the most dangerous or more critical parts so this is how it looks right now it might not look good in this form you can also change the color manually or change different options so you can also add an outline to these shapes which means that if you add an outline it will look more darker and if you add a different color it will also be more prominent if you increase the width it will be more dark which doesn't look much good to an overall look of the presentation so again I like I said you have to change and you have to choose the colors depending upon your own slide template so right now I don't have any template for my slide so I'm just using a basic colors and see how does it looks in different variations so I'm not just just going to adjust the size and I also don't like the part which is down below which is uh, white in color I'm going to remove that part and I'm going to uh, just show the parts which have the which countries which have the coronavirus so now I'm just changing the color for the background now this one is a bit lighter so I'm going to use a bit darker one but before that let's make final changes and let's go to the map again and click on this uh, bars and then you can see the selection type and you can change the map map here to show the areas which have the data now you can see the maps with only the countries which have data and pretty much all the countries have coronavirus right now i hope you guys learned something from this video and you can try this map for your own data sets also and it can be anything depending upon the biofuel resources fossil resources anything i hope you guys like my video if you haven't watched my previous video do watch them and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe my channel till then take care Allah Hafiz.